Hello, this is John Snyder, and I'm sitting here in my little Mosquito XE helicopter. I thought you might like to go out and ride along with me for a flight uh, to do a touchdown auto rotation. Before we go, I'll point out some things on the instrument panel that you might want to uh, observe throughout the flight. For anyone who doesn't know, here on the left is the airspeed indicator. It's graduated uh, by graduations of 10 miles per hour. There's 20 miles per hour, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Top center here is the combination engine and rotor RPM gauge. On the right is the engine RPM. On the left is the rotor RPM. The two needles work together like this and display in percent. Throughout the flight, the engine and rotor RPM will be up here right near the middle to top portion of the green band. Except when we go into the auto rotation, the engine needle will drop to zero and the rotor will stay right there in the green band as we uh, do our 180 degree turn to touchdown. Here on the right is the combination altimeter and vertical speed indicator. Sitting here on the ground, I've got it set to zero. Down here in the lower left corner is the vertical speed indicator, and it's indicating zero feet per minute right now. Over here is the tiny tack combination hour meter and digital tachometer. Right now it's indicating that the helicopter has 64 hours on it. And when we start up, you'll see the engine RPM displayed. Here in the lower center is the combination exhaust gas temperature and cylinder head temperature gauge. On the left here is the EGTs. There's two of them for the two cylinders. On the right is the cylinder head temperatures. The two leftmost bars are the two cylinder head temperatures. The third one here, I have a thermocouple on my splitter gearbox. And the fourth one over, I have a thermocouple on the tail rotor gearbox, so I've got onboard gearbox temperatures. Whichever bar is black as they scroll through is the temperature that's being indicated up here in the digital format. And there's one of those for the CHTs and for the EGT. Again, whichever one is black is the temperature being indicated at that time. Looking down below is my uh, oral warning system for the master caution system. Basically, when armed, any red light uh, will cause a subsequent oral warning as well. So I have warnings for over temperature under and over rotor RPM and under and over voltage. And if I just go up to test, you'll hear the system. We'll just turn it off for right now and as we get ready to start up, I'll turn it on and it will be uh, going off because of the low rotor RPM that's indicated and it'll keep honking until it gets up into the green band. All right, let's go fly. Ignition switch on. Crack the throttle. And here we go. I'll just go ahead and arm the warning system. And we'll run the engine on the tiny tack up to about 3,200 RPM. And now we'll just hold it there while the centrifugal clutch gets completely engaged.